Look at the blaze combination. Oh my god. They were to finish off both players as well. That's a great lineup. This scrapes his speed. Welcome to Decoded, where we break down the best strats and plays from the Valorant Champions Tour to help you in your ranked games. Today, we're looking at how to combine abilities with your teammates and execute perfect team plays. Against an operator. Abilities, look, we know they're powerful tools that can help you in pretty much any fight, but many of them are even more powerful when paired with abilities and gunplay from your teammates. Ah! Ah! So, of course, that means cooperation is absolutely key in Valorant. Learning how to execute on your teammates' plays and follow up on their abilities will make you a better player in no time at all. So pay attention as we break down these examples from the VCT pros and you'll be climbing the ranks in no time. If you've been watching the VCT, you've probably seen a lot of Astra on the screen lately. And maybe you're wondering why. Well, there's a lot of great things about Astra that make her a great agent, but perhaps the most important is her Gravity Well ability. Gravity Well is a versatile ability with a lot of unique properties, and when paired with abilities, it can be especially deadly. On its own, Gravity Well doesn't do any damage, but its long sustained crowd control is what makes it stand out, especially when paired with Molly abilities, like Phoenix's Hot Hands or Brimstone's Incendiary. Take a look at how Envy set up this combo. Oh my goodness! Beautiful use of kit there. Mummy placed a star in the corner of a sent A main. And as soon as they realized their opponents were pushing through, Victor throws his Molly right on top of Mummy's star. Mummy then activates the gravity well, trapping two players inside of the Molly, scoring two safe and easy kills. Envy's coordinated ability usage put them at a man advantage, but don't take it from me. Let's hear what Victor and Mummy have to say about this one. So Hunter Thieves has been consistently taking a main control since the start of the game and I also noticed before the round started that Hiko was one orb away from his ultimate so I knew that, was, I knew that there was a good chance that they would come for this orb. We're pretty confident that these guys are in a main so Vic aligns his molly and I'm ready to put my orb for gravity well. He pops his ult and he swings with his flash. I use my gravity well and I pull two people in. I kind of, I didn't really expect their whole team there but it worked out. Astra's abilities in team play are one of the most intrusive things to play against. The thing with Astra is you could place her stars across the map. You can activate them at any point in time if you haven't used them already. So having that in your pocket with good communication, you can stop any exec on a site or you could take any part of the map when you combine it with other utility. Thanks guys. Now let's take a look at another example. Sky's Trailblazer ability is a great tool for safely checking corners and stunning enemies. If you coordinate a team push around this ability, you can create aggressive plays that minimize risk to your team. When playing as Sky, be sure to communicate to your team when you're about to send out a Trailblazer so they can push behind it. The duration of Trailblazer stun isn't very long, so you'll need to coordinate with your team and act quickly to capitalize together and get those kills. Trailblazer is another ability that pairs great with Astra's Gravity Well. You can use it to get a guaranteed stun on an enemy trapped in the well to make the fight even easier. Oh, goodbye. What a gravity <laughs> well. Dude. Try using Trailblazer when you suspect an enemy is nearby and you've got your team ready to follow up. Or in moments where a stun could really help your squad secure a fight. To run. As a global ultimate that can attack through walls and across the map, Sova's Hunter's Fury is an essential tool for gathering intel and checkmating around. Now on its own, Hunter's Fury is great for defending the spike and picking off revealed opponents. But much like the other abilities we've discussed today, it's even stronger when paired with a crowd control ability like Astra's Gravity Well. When your teammate gets the enemy trapped in a well, you can use Hunter's Fury to follow up with a kill from a safe distance from the action. Now, using Hunter's Fury on enemies that have been CC'd is safer than trying to challenge them in a gunfight, since you can use it from behind cover. Watch his way out onto the side. The Hunter's Fury is going to be coming through the tracking glow, and God Dead has the shot. Try this combo in situations where keeping your team alive is top priority, or when you're too far away for a gunfight. 
Now, let's take a look back and recap what we've learned so far. Combine crowd control abilities with damage dealing abilities to punish your opponents when you have a read on their locations. Coordinate pushes around your teammates' abilities to maximize their value and play more safely. Communicate with your team when you've got the opponent's trap so you can capitalize on them for some easy kills. Do you know what? That'll do it for now. Let's stick to three and let's see if we can try incorporating these team play strats into your game and see how your rank improves. Thanks for checking out this episode of Decoded. Be sure to tune into the VCT to learn more pro strats to bring into your ranked games. And for all the upcoming matches and schedules, check out ValorantEsports.com. It's got it all there for you. And hopefully we'll be seeing you next time for more tips and tricks from the VCT pros.